go to Ultimaker. Right here, click, you'll be able to download it. So download it, choose your operating system. So we download the file we need. It's going to, I'm going to open it and set it up. Now, after you do that, actually, I should, non, click here, add your printer. Mine is a clone, so I'm going to choose Creality. Ender 3 V2 and when you add it it's going to ask you questions oh well I actually need to Since it's skipped, there we go. So it will ask you your printer settings here, and you just input your build plate size, and bam, it's done. All right. Now, come to these three lines, and you want to turn Expert on, so you get a whole bunch of settings. So, you get a whole bunch of settings when you put Expert on. Now, <clears throat> my layer height I like is 0.16. My initial layer height is 0.16. If you do not use a receipt paper to get your nozzle as close to your bed as you can, that gap that is the paper thickness gets added to your initial layer height. So if you use the printer paper, you could use 0.12. Or point zero eight, and it will give you a point one six true initial layer height. So I set mine to point one six here, wall order I put inside to outside, Z seam alignment. Put in your sharpest corner and hide seam. Skin layers, you want four minimum. Walls, you want it you want to do at least three, sometimes four. It is important, or it will look like you could see your infill on the inside. Bottom pattern, initial layer, set to concentric. It will make a square shape. And let's add a test print. Because we want to calibrate our printer. So our first one is, we need, we need to do a bed leveling calibration print so we'll come down to the bottom here and you'll see so you'll need to slice it and it says 23 minutes okay so we want to get our SD card and put 
the model file on our SD card we're going to put in our printer. So I'm going to do that now. Make sure you put it in correctly. Down here, save it, then make sure you press eject. It will remove power from your SD card, then you can take out your SD card. So now I got my file on my SD card and I want to put it back in my machine. So you got your machine preheated. Now what you do is you want to clean your bed plate. So you use 91% rubbing alcohol. Spray it on the rag. Gently clean your glass. and start your print. Clean your nozzle area. and let it go. See how much cleaner it is now? Use your camera to see how your nozzle is is depositing filament because it's really hard to see by eye. It's really small. While that's printing, we can come back to our computer. While that is printing, we can come back to our object, click on it, press your delete key, and now we got a clean space. I'm going to show you how to make a temperature tower to print all of your filament with. Then you'll know what temperature you can set your machine to when you print with certain colors. We need to add an auto tower. We're going to do temperature tower for PLA. Normally, when you get filaments, you need to do a temperature tower to see how it performs at different temperatures. Here, we could start at 230 in increments of 5. And now, we have to figure out what layer height the temperature changes so we'll go to we need to slice and preview and come down and start it at 59 you can use your arrows to go down a layer to get it closer okay so Here we go. We'll do 58. So we go back to prepare, extensions, post processing, modified G code, 230, change our designation to 58. Now close it, slice. This might take a, a little while to print, but it, it'll be okay. You see this red? This should actually print without supports. So don't do not add supports.